I was about to publish uh, the Iron Duke Speaks, brought to you courtesy of IronMagLabs.com. Use discount code ML15 to save 15% off at IronMagLabs.com when I saw the news of Arnold being attacked in South Africa. And the only thing I could think of, yes, that, you know, do impress here at the Junior USA is I'm actually about to go into Starbucks and I mean, I like literally about to publish and I, I could not, I would be remiss as a bodybuilding journalist if I did not include the fact uh, of this horrendous tragedy. Uh, where was Arnold's security detail? I mean, where was it? I mean, like, how, I, like, you know, in Columbus, he's got a police detail on top of his private security detail, on top of the fact that he's got handlers there, you know what I mean, that are, that are basically guiding him around the expo area. And in addition, in a pinch would also be a third layer of security. Arnold looked like he was like completely by himself in South Africa where he got drop kicked and God knows what else could have happened. You know, that is insane insane it's troubling it's upsetting it's outrageous i hope it never happens again i hope people when they receive arnold to get their act together and realize that he is a high profile person a former governor a movie star worked in various presidential administrations come on guys i mean come on it's like basic common sense all right guys christian duke signing out and don't forget to use iml15 at rmaglabs.com to save 15 percent off your purchase outrageous talk about beating a dead horse but uh this week, Dave Palumbo, Sean Ray on RX Muscle. Guess what they were talking about? Sean Flexitron Roden, guest posing at Pittsburgh now, what, three weeks ago? Guys, come on. I mean, I'm not going to rag on you. I'm not going to do that. You guys aren't the only ones doing it. But, uh, I mean, like, just give it up. You know what I mean? Give it up. I mean, the guy's Mr. Olympia. The guy knocked out Phil Heath. You guys are giving him so much shit. And it's going on week after week after week after week. And it's like, what, what more is there to talk about? The guy has not started his Olympia prep yet. He was guest posing. You know, so is this what bodybuilding has come to? I mean, seriously, like just clickbait? I mean, I'm not going to, I guess I said I wasn't going to rag on you, but I guess I am kind of ragging on you a little bit. Um, move on to something else. I'm going to move on to something else now. Uh, Robbie Robinson. The Black Prince, I love Robbie, you know, hell of a great bodybuilder, but um, saying that Big Rami should quit, that, you know, he basically has a death wish. Nick Strength and Power broke the story. Great story, by the way. Um, well, it's a great story, but I don't know that Robbie should be saying that because as Nick correctly pointed out, the guy won a Masters Mr. Olympia. The guy battled with Frank Zane and Mike Menser for the Open Olympia. He had a, a very long life in the sport, continues to be in the sport, and is in the middle of controversy. I don't think he should be uh, opining. That's a, that is a word, but nobody ever uses it because it sounds really bizarre. But I don't think he should be opining on the uh, future of an active competitor who just recently got second at the Mr. Olympia. Like, why would somebody that recently, and by recently I mean within the last two or three years, two years, quit bodybuilding when you're potentially second or maybe one day best in the world. Is this Robbie's attempt at uh, more notoriety, more hoopla, more controversy? I don't know. He is a golden era bodybuilder. I, w I wouldn't think that he would need to do that, but I don't know. And then finally, Chris Bumstead had hernia surgery, put it up on his Instagram, thanked Phil Heath for the reference to the surgeon. Uh, you could see him there on his own Instagram with the patch. He's healing up. Chris Bumstead, probably one of the best physiques in the history of the game. One of the most talked about guys. Wherever he goes, he gets mobbed, like legit mobbed. You know, gets offers to work with all sorts of companies, all sorts of publishing contracts. I mean, this is a guy on the cutting edge. And um, hernias are very common in bodybuilding. And I've heard it said, you know, you got to train smart. Well, you know... Um, Yes and no. I mean, I have heard of people getting hernias training as smart as you could get, as light as you could get, using the best range of motion. Shit happens, you know what I mean? I hate to curse, but shit happens. So I think that uh, getting that sort of thing taken care of is the right thing to do. I know we've seen bodybuilders, if you watch the uh, Ronnie Coleman documentary, you see, I mean, it wasn't a hernia, it was more like slip discs, but, you know, he competed and won most of his sandals or all of his sandals under excruciating pain. You know what I mean? So if you can get this sort of thing corrected, do it. Your body is your temple. And with that, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to try to go for this three, four minute approach, see if it helps in the hits because analytics are showing that shorter videos get more views. So 
And you guys know I love to talk. So this is Christian Duke, the Iron Duke Speaks, brought to you courtesy of ironmeglabs.com. Don't forget to use discount code IMO15. It'll save you 15% off your purchase. Till the next week, this is Christian Duke.